So welcome to this episode of how to get the most out of your AJC career coaching. Sorry, coaching career school, isn't it? I must have written it down yes. on the sheet. Yes, how to get the most out of that. Um, my amazing guest today is Felipe Bernardo. Felipe, good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon. It's really great to be to be back here. Uh, we tried to record once and it didn't didn't work. Yeah. So it's great to it's great to be back here. I was yeah, well, honestly when when you reached out to me saying hey um i didn't hit the recording something happened and i the, the experience that i got from meeting you for those 30 minutes when we first spoke was so genuine was so giving uh, that i felt your energy that to me it was a no-brainer at all to to want to just to speak with you again oh, and, and have another conversation so Thank yeah you. i'm glad to be here i appreciate that yeah uh, just for people listening and watching um we had we had an amazing conversation uh and today will be too but I, I somehow i must have just not hit record or hit stop and whatever so uh, this is take two um but i think we're actually going to do it slightly differently because felipe just owned up to me that he quite likes spontaneity and surprise which is you know like if you're a bit of a mischief maker like i am this is gold to hear this so we'll see where we go but do you have your bio with you Yes, I do. I do. Awesome. So would you start yes. today by reading your bio for us? Absolutely. I did thank enjoy you. reading it last time. And, yeah, um, it, was, it was amazing. So thank you. That'd be great. Yeah, I'd love to do that. <clears throat> so just, just a little bit of a backstory. So th this bio um, was, so this this was an exercise that Ankush gave us to to write our bios for the school and, and not just write in, in the usual sense that people write their bios, but the sense of really try to um to to stand on 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 our grounds and speak our truths and and to talk about the things that really um our, all our achievements to really blow our trump trumpet and to um in in the in the risk of sounding arrogant to really speak our truth right um so to throw away the the uh, overly humble uh bio that usually <laughs> we, we we try to write yeah. So here it is. Um, I am a 25 year old Brazilian with a deep appreciation for the art of living and awe to see people wake up to their potential. From as early as seven years old, I was already interested in learning about life in a deeper way and in understanding what makes people tick. I used to spend more time listening to adults around me for wisdom than hanging around with other kids of my age. I remember feeling puzzled many times when seeing how adults would get really angry, violent, confused, or suffer about things that seemed so simple to me at the time. The years that followed happened to be one of the hardest moments in my life. I started experiencing a great deal of anxiety around people, as well as suicidal ideation and panic whenever left alone. I would put others' opinions in much higher regard than mine, which led me to hold back from expressing myself or my emotions in a variety of situations. I usually refer to that time as being emotionally frozen. When I was 13, the world of personal development opened my eyes to new possibilities of change. My healing started through the body with physical exercises, bioenergetics, dance, and meditation. I started to express myself and feel emotions I had been suppressing for years. I felt alive again and suddenly began noticing how others around me could also benefit from this. Mm. At the age of 18, I moved to the cold lands of Finland to study sports and become a fitness instructor. I was 11,000 kilometers away from my home country, Brazil, in a completely new culture with no contacts. And it was there where I met Yangshuan, my beloved Chinese partner, who embarked on a journey with me towards all five countries we lived in. We have been together for almost for more than seven years now. During my years in university, I quickly realized that rather than telling unmotivated people how to exercise, I was more curious to discover what they really wanted to do and help them create that. This naturally led me to study psychology and coaching. I hired my first coach when I was 19 for a few months, and I saw the power coaching has to create insights and change someone's life. It completely changed my perspective of what I thought was possible for me. I was sold. Um, in 2017, I started to apply what I was learning about coaching through ICF courses, books, and events I was participating in. 
it was also around that time that I came across an understanding of the mind, which brought me deeper levels of peace, freedom, and effectiveness at work that I never really dreamed possible. I've now been coaching for more than six years. Um, I'm a certified solution-focused brief coach, and I've had entrepreneurs say that our work together truly changed their lives. In 2021, I saw one of the top coaches in the UK post an application for an assistant slash business partner position. I saw it as an amazing opportunity to learn from the best whilst helping him give fruition to his mission. His name is Ankush Jain. Nowadays, I'm a world-class business partner to one of the top coaches in the UK and to Sachin Sharma as well, the best social media business coach in the, in the world. I'm also paid to constantly learn from them. And for the past two years now, I've been cultivating a way of being proactive, effective, and over-delivering that has made me an increasingly better leader. Uh, since more than two years ago, I've also been one of the co-leaders at Emerging Man Community. Uh, it's an online safe space for men to express themselves openly, connect deeply, and grow together. Every week, I'm filled with gratitude for the power and wisdom present in the group conversations we have. I love these men, and the way they show up is a lighthouse of positive influence for generations to come. Thank you for listening. Wow. I get chills reading this every time. <laughs> yeah. I was amazing that that's the second time I've had the 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 complete pleasure of hearing that and um yeah that that's yeah something just completely changed for me in that there was a, there was a point where I think you were uh, I think the phrase was emotionally frozen was that yeah yeah that something in that just like freed something in here I, I, mm. I can't I can't explain that at all but I can feel what I feel from you and this is what struck me the first time that we spoke was like is your depth of being right and forgive me if this sounds wrong but for someone so young I, I I just think it's so exciting. Like my sons are 17 and 19. And it's so exciting for me to come across young men like yourselves, like Moritz, <clears throat> like Sashin, like Kush, really. I mean, Kush, you know, he's 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 older than you, but he's not so far. Like I'm I'm the next generation on kind of thing. And and hearing you guys how you're how you're open emotionally and, and how you're exploring and your depth of acknowledgement of, of the work that you are doing and have done and will do is just it's fantastic. I love it. I really, I really, really, I see its value. But more importantly, I can feel it. I can feel how it changes things when you are who you're being, when you read that bio. Honestly, I could just shut up and listen to that all over again. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Wow. Th really. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I, I, and I, I just, I, I think that, you know, I can speak for myself, but I have also heard Sachin's story and, and Mort's story. And, and to me, I think the depth that you're speaking to comes as a result of having gone through so much of the the hardship like meaning because i have experienced what it's like to not express myself at all and be a people pleaser to the point where you know i mm. thought me not existing would be better for others mm. right yeah. um transforming through that is something that i'm i'm incredibly grateful like when i look back and and it it just opens the opens the door to opportunity to a whole new way of being, knowing what I've what I've gone through. So I think that the you know the story the the our past uh, my past and and what I've gone through like allows me to then be who I am today, because um, the contrast is really huge. 
So I know whenever, whenever the old pattern of stories are coming up, I can see it so clearly because I know where that train of thought is going to take me. That's beautiful. Like there's, there's just, <clears throat> there's just so much sensitivity in that. That's what I really hear. I hear, I hear how sensitive you are to your, your own journey and what you've been through. And then I can imagine that into the gift that that is for, for other people who are on their own journey. It's mind blowing. It really is. It's beautiful. And, and I'm getting, ah, <laughs> it's just so interesting doing these, these interviews, like or conversations. I'm, I'm just getting a sense of, of maybe another iteration of conversations that I'd really like to have mm. that are, that are born out of this. So mm. uh, amazing. Yeah. Creativity on fire. That's what it is. And, and I'm just going to say that. I notice that this school, right, the first iteration of the school, the AJC, was something that I've never seen anywhere else. And that was not because I was part of organizing it, but because the way that Ankush showed up to lead the school, lead the group, he allowed the personal transformation aspect of it to, to be uncovered as well, rather than he, he could have just being there to teach the principles of growing your coaching practice and all that, which he did. But then he also allowed a lot of space for everyone to share. And we went really deep. Mm. Like we went really raw. We shared very vulnerably. Um, there was a lot of expression going on throughout the, the program. Um, so, so we had this, this, space as well to 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 address the way of being as well which which is the most to me is one of the most important things like if i one of the things that i learned that was really impactful for me is that is that as a coach of course there are a list of things that i can do that are most effective throughout my day to make sure that i grow my practice but if i'm doing those things without being a coach meaning without being curious without being uh, a leader within the conversation without being of service to them without being looking for opportunities to help people, it, it will fall short. Right. So him addressing also the way of being like going deep into that is something that uh, I never see anywhere else. And, and, it, and it was, and, and, and we, we sent a feedback form to everyone. And what we received was exactly that people saying, wow, like what really um, was special was not only the teaching aspect of it, but that we, we, we really got deep into the way of being and, and we allowed ourselves to express uh, ourselves. So um, that's beautiful. Yeah, that was really special. Yeah. Oh, completely. That phrase allowed ourselves to express. You just get a sense of um, what's possible for each of us, don't you? When you, when you reflect on that, you know, and it takes some time to really, yeah, I just feel like I'm marinating in this in this in this source of of well, yeah, marinating in source. There you go. That's exactly what it feels like. Exactly what it feels like. And that's that's phenomenal. And I think what's you know, the, if I go back to to what I wanted to do with these conversations, um and I think I've said this on other episodes, a lot of it was, uh, you know, it was for my own benefit. It was to help me prepare. It was to help me come to the school as the beginner's mind. Mm -hmm. It was to support me in doing that, in being that. Because um, that's something I don't necessarily find so easy to do, you know. Mm -hmm like many of us quite, you know, wrapped in what I think I know already. And so watching and listening to, to you all has been so helpful for me to really see what's on offer when I can step out of my habitual patterns of 
conditioned knowing and instead come completely empty to these spaces and just feel each of you and hear you and just be lit up by it i mean that's struggling to think of anything better yeah, yeah. <laughs> than spending some time in a day doing that do you know what i mean that's just yeah absolutely such a gift such a gift and, and and i would say that this is one of the best ways to show up if anyone wants to get if you're talking about getting the most out of the school but also out of anything right it's exactly yeah like if i go back to the same book that i've already read and I come back with a fresh new perspective. If if my listening to it, my right as 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 an analogy, if my listening to whatever um, I'm listening to, whether it is to a person, whether it is to a book that I'm reading, to a content that I'm watching or a course, if the listening is fresh in the moment, and I'm listening to this with the with the intention of getting some some gold out of it, extracting some gold out of this. Um, seeing what's useful for me out of this and seeing for the first time, I will always find something useful, always. Because we really, really find what we are looking for. Um, and it was really great to not see this just as a concept, like, oh yeah, it's a nice little concept. Yeah. But then I witnessed the, the people in the school, the coaches who were already making really, like they're already successful in their own right. They're already um, making more than 50K a year, right? Um, and they were, or more than a hundred and they were growing. Right. And they were listening to the same things yeah. they heard Ankur's talk um, before, and they were listening fresh uh, with fresh new perspective yeah. and, th and they grew and they, they, they increased their, their income, they increased their uh, impact with their practices. Um, and it was great to see all of them showing up as a student, like you mentioned, um, even though they they might be way ahead than um or other people might imagine that you know oh, they already know everything so why are they here yeah that's that's just beautiful isn't it i know that each time <clears throat> i was listening to a portion of the ultimate coach this morning uh and and every time i hear that it's like well i didn't hear that last time right hang on i don't remember i don't remember that Oh, that that tells me something fresh. And it's so interesting. I mean, we spoke what last week at some point. Yeah. And and yet the conversation today is completely different. It's yeah. fresh and it's so alive. And it's like, and so then, you know, where where, where my mind goes from that point is like, well, well, where else can I bring that? That, mm. that I'm really bringing stale or secondhand thinking or or nine millionth hand thinking or whichever, you know, just running a pattern that I've run before, when actually this, what what's here is available all of the time. It's conditionless. I'm the condition that creates blind and deafness. It requires nothing. It's just sitting here. It's like a masterpiece, isn't it? Like the most beautiful piece of art or music or book, poetry or whatever you can ever imagine is sitting there waiting to be viewed or listened to. Hmm. And the paradox is that we're caught in a trap of looking around, trying to find it, missing that it's, you know, it's right here. So that's amazing. Amazing. I'd love to hear your document. Sure. Right now? Yeah, right now. <sighs> I'm bold and I don't need anyone's approval. I am that people's lives get transformed when I speak with them. I am an extraordinary leader and I'm a stand for men to be authentically themselves. I'm deeply in love with myself. I'm my best friend. I'm always graceful with myself, and I am audaciously human. I am that I build my life around my family and my relationships. I am that no one is beneath me or above me. I am that everyone deserves my love. I am that I nourish every second with my family. I am that I love my wife, Yang Xuan, dearly, and I'm deeply proud of creating my life with her. I'm an exceptional husband. 
I'm absolutely deserving of all love and sexual pleasure. I'm romantic and wildly passionate. I'm exactly where I need to be right now. I am an unstoppable force of nature. I'm always worthy and I'm peace no matter what happens. I'm a samurai with my time. And I am that I always have all the time in the world. I am immediate action. I am that I ask abundantly for anything. And I am that I love money. I am that I have fun creating the impossible. I am the most creative person I know. I am that I love my body. I'm getting stronger and fitter each day. I'm optimal health. I'm that I rock with my style. I'm handsome and everyone feels attracted to me. I'm a great comedian and I love my humor. I'm joy expressed. I'm warm and intimate. I'm a heartfelt joy to spend time with. I'm free and uninhibited. I am that I bring love and energy to every interaction. I'm that I love and appreciate my sharings. I'm that I have all the understanding I need right now. I am that when I speak, the world resonates and I am that my stories impact people's lives. This is who I am and this is who I'm creating myself to be. And my parents named me Felipe. How was that? It's incredible. <laughs>